mean I'm about to get Pull my shit and bang Hip hop I embody it Hit the scene and do my thing I'm over your head in the side what up, what up? Welcome back, everybody. My name is A.T. from Headcrack Studios, headcrackstudios.com. And today is another plug-in tutorial, and this time I'm going to be doing the C1 compressor from Waves. The reason why I chose this compressor is because it is shaped and designed like any other normal compressor, stock compressor that you'll find in your DAW. So um, breaking down this uh, compressor will give you the theory some of the basic theory, I should say, behind compression, and it'll allow you to be able to navigate your compressors that are in your DAW um, easily because it's shaped just like it. And really quick, guys, if you have the C1 for Waves, a lot of other uh, third-party plugins do this. If you hit the question mark, it'll send you right to the user guide. So that way you can get in-depth um, explanations on all the controls. What I try to do is just give you the quick and easy way to get started. That way you guys can open up your mind and get going. So with that said, let's get to it. Um, yeah, so once again, I want to use my song called Jesters because um, compression is used a lot in hip-hop and a lot on vocals in hip-hop. So I'm just going to play my lead really quick on the hook and then we get started on testing out the C1. Give me the beat on my body, pull my shit and bang. Hip hop, I embody it. Hit the scene and do my thing. I'm over your head in the side of You were pitching, you got bang. Solo was killer, but solo man on me. I'm dolo and don't need a game. Yep, so there you go. Obviously, I had to turn it up a little bit because it is low, because it's raw. Nothing really on it right now. So let's get to it. Let me open up the C1, take this down so we can see the track. All right, so starting off really quick, this is the basic mode, low reference. So what this does, it just. It's the basic mode of referencing the signal coming into the compressor. And as you can see, every time I talk, the compressor is moving because that's actually the signal. That's actually me, the compressor, recognizing my signal. When you go and peak reference, it's a little different, and I'll show you that down uh, in like the next couple steps because this uh, could get confusing. So makeup gain. So this is... Um, exactly what it is. Sorry. It's a makeup gain. So as much as you compress, it'll actually lower the volume of your signal. And then you want to make it up with the gain. So we'll get to that in a couple seconds. Threshold. This is basically at what volume do you want the compressor to start working? And I'll show you guys an in-depth way of doing this. You know, once we get going, I just want to run through the parameters. So this is basically at what volume you want the compressor to start working. So obviously, if I set it to negative, let's set it crazy right now. Let's set it to negative 25 dB and let's set the ratio. So the ratio, easy way to easy way to do it, guys. Look at the line on the compressor. Higher you go, that's crazy. Higher you go, the more steep. So what ratio is in a nutshell is when do you want, how harsh do you want the compressor to work, basically? So in more technical terms, ratio like a four to one like I have right now is pretty standard for hip hop. Basically, every time the signal goes over the threshold 4 dB, it'll bring it down to one. I know that sounds confusing. Like I told you guys, click that question mark and you'll get a lot more info. And if you do want to um, go in depth, I can make other videos just strictly on all of these channels. Um, so with that said, that's the ratio. Let's keep it around four. All right, there, cool. And the attack. So this is basically how fast or how slow you want the compressor to start working. So, you know, you have an, uh, so in this case, the higher the numbers, the slower it is. So you got a thousand right now. That's super slow. And it's usually in milliseconds. So this is, you know, you can go all the way down to 0 0.01 milliseconds. And that's super fast. So for this case, for hip hop, um, for a vocal like this, I like to keep it uh, pretty, pretty fast, but not super fast. And then the release. So this is where how fast or how slow the compressor stops working. So once the compressor starts working, it'll stop working in between the signals, you know, in between these transients that you see right here. So boom, 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 booms, the boom, booms. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so this right here is a cool um, feature that I don't really use as much. It's called actually PDR. And if I pull it up really quick, program dependent release. So basically it's in milliseconds. So if you know the milliseconds of your transients, like say if I knew the milliseconds of this peak right here, I can set it to that. And then anything shorter than that would get a shorter release. 
Super technical. I don't use that as much, but you guys feel free to go crazy. So let's just play around with this compressor. And I'll show you guys how to freak it because I want to keep this short for you guys. That way we can have, um, we can pack some info in. Let's get it. Give me the beat, I'm a body. Pull my shit and bang. Hip hop, I embody it. Hit the scene and do my thing. I'm over your head in the side again. So we'll put you All right, so right now you see the signal got lower. If I take it off. Give me the beat, I'm a body. Pull my shit and bang. Now if I turn it on. Give me the beat, I'm a body. A little more quieter. So let's go crazy and put the attack super harsh. Let's make this threshold down. So, all right, guys, really quick. Well, I'm just thinking as I'm going. You see, my signal is basically peaking at 20, negative 20. So what I would do, I don't really mix by numbers, honestly, guys, but, you know, 20, negative 20 is a good starting space. And then you kind of want to fill out. You want to feel where the signal's going, how harsh you want to compress. But I would, you know, that's a good place to start. So let's go crazy. Let's go crazy so we can see the compressor work and we can see the attack and release time. So as you've seen that, look, quick attack. Yep, slower attack. So... In essence, it's basically how much it's going to compress. Um, like I said, guys, it's, it's, it goes deeper than that. But in essence, um, with, a, with a faster attack, it's going to hit these transients way harder. you know. And then a slower attack will hit the tail end of the transient. In other words, it's going to compress a lot more with a faster attack. Um, and it's all up to you, the feel you want to go for the record. Me, I don't like squashing my vocals OD. So let's squash it right now. So now look at the release. So when you so when you bring the release slower, when you bring it up, it's actually going to take forever to stop compressing. So this is good on certain signals, like certain signals like maybe an 808 or maybe a background vocal, something like that. I'm just doing it on a lead hook vocal. That way you can see it on a lead because vocals are prominent in hip hop, just like kicks and drums. And mind you guys, this all can translate to drums too. So uh, yeah. So now if we want that super compressed signal, let's make it up. And a good way to do it, guys, is look at this meter right here. That's the that's how much gain reduction we're getting. So that right now we're pretty much exaggerated at negative 13.9 gain reduction. That's uh, how much we're compressing. So let's bring it back up. Let's bring it up 13.9 and see what we got. Give me the beat, I'm a body. Pull my shit and bang. Hip hop, I am body. Hit the scene and do my thing. Now, if you know, if you're used to listening to compression like me, you can hear that pumping. That's, uh, you know, that's basically what you don't want, kind of. You want the compressor to be, um, you want the compressor to be transparent enough, but to give it some character. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to mess around with this and do it to my liking. And you guys could just watch along and listen along. And, um, yeah, man, we'll get it going. Let's do it. Give me the beat, I'm a body. Pull my shit and bang. Hip hop, I embody it. Hit the scene and do my thing. I'm over your head in the side again. You a bitch and you got bangs. Solo was killer, but solo man, army, I'm solo and don't need a game. But it just so happens that my head cracks. This niggas is winning, we killing them really so dead. Dead. Leave it tonight, you gon' wind up on ripping my leg. Clap. Feed you some paint with committee. Your feet, your bitch, and your butter cup. Either like Reese, you screaming so loud, but I put it on. Give me the beat, I'm a body. Pull my shit and bang. Hip hop, I embody it. Hit the scene and do my thing. I'm over your head in So there you go, guys. That's kind of where I would like it, uh, especially for a lead. As you can see what I did, I had the um, threshold super low because I just wanted to get the compressor working. And then I did my makeup gain to bring it up to see how it, sound, how it sounds compressed. And then I opened it back up by putting the threshold just a little higher. So that's it, guys. That's the C1 compressor. And like I said, this compressor looks a lot like all the stock compressors and DAWs. So it's a really good start in place. Um, if you don't have the C1, if you have a stock one on anything, Pro Tools, uh, Studio One, Logic, they'll look similar to this. And most of the plugins, even the stock ones, have this question mark, some sort of question mark that'll lead you to the, um, to the uh, manual, sorry. So that's it, guys. That is C1 Compressor in a nutshell. Like I said, comment below, like, and subscribe, of course. But comment if you guys want in-depth, you know, theory and in-depth knowledge about each one of these because they are they can go pretty deep. Um, 
But like I said, guys, that's it right there. That's the C1 compressor in a nutshell, how to use it and compression in a nutshell. Once again, my name is AT from Headcrack Studios, headcrackstudios.com. And this song is called Jesters. I'll put it in the comments. I mean, in the description, sorry. And let's get it, man. Happy mixing, happy music making.